I've been in LA for about two months and every day is the same thing. Walk out at nine to go get lunch at like 12 or other times I have like a meeting. Five or six, I have another workout. Then I just go back home, take a shower and then get some, get something to eat every day. Francois Niam, I'm a Joel Embiid sports agent. He's just getting better daily and that's been his route ever since he picked up the basketball. Um, from the camp to junior in high school, went to Kansas, supposedly as a redshirt, still got better. And ever since he, you know, he declared for the draft, this past two months, it's, it's, it's the same thing. On the court stuff, he's already got a large amount of tools. He can do a lot of different stuff from left hand to right hand, hook shot. I just be working on everything because I'm trying to be a complete player. Handle, rebounding, passing, shooting the ball, uh, post move, working on my post moves. I really need to with my back problems now. Back in college, you have to do whatever you have to do, and uh, I have to get in shape to be able to get ready for the NBA. What you know impresses me the most is he got mental toughness. He's starting to understand what it takes to make it to the next level. As far as discipline, as far as hard work, he's gonna be, he's gonna be something. So push yourself through, come on. Get to the basket. All right, good. I would say, since I got here, uh, my coach, Coach Fred, the message he's sending us is to, uh, just to be ready mentally because it's not always gonna be uh, easy for us. So being, coming uh, in the league and being a rookie, you have to do some duties and, and you have to work more than the other players uh, to get on the floor. So you have to be tough mentally. Playing against tough guys, stronger guys, older guys, get, you know, again, bumped around, pushed around, keep going through that pain and, you know, keep playing, keep playing and keep playing. How far can you take it mentally? Being mentally prepared, it means a lot. It goes into everything, like uh, when you hurt and you still play um, for, my, for my team, I couldn't let them down, so I just keep playing. And even when I hurt my back, I understand it. I couldn't even walk. When I got up, and I just went to the bench and we went down by two or three and then I just felt like I could come back and just help them. Eventually we lost that game, but I feel like I didn't let them down and it means a lot to me. I'm about to realize my dream playing the NBA and it's crazy. I'm always that guy, uh, the first time if I play against you and you beat, you beat me up or you score me many times, the second time I'm gonna know what to do. I'm a quick learner and I'm gonna know what I need to do to beat you. I've been walking out every day just to get ready for this moment. And right now there's no turning back. Like I said before, be tough mentally and wherever I end up, go there and do some damage.